Fish on the pink one that was in the water. Nope. Missed him. Oh, nope, he's there. He's there. All right. <laughs> I didn't think he was there. <laughs> he just about pulled my pole in. What do we got? What do we got? All right, we got a trout. Nice. <sighs> Finally. Oh well, we'll just leave those in there. And we'll net this. Tr and we're gonna take him home. All right. Finally got a trout. First trout of the day. A lot of, a lot of bass, but very few trout. We'll take it though. Hey, you know, we just don't complain about fish. We don't care if they're big or small. We don't complain. Whoa. 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 Hook popped right out. Nice 17, 18 inch trout. Can't complain about that. Whoa. <laughs> That's all right, we're taking him anyway, so. Give you guys a nice look. Put him in here and get a picture of him. And then we'll put him in the, in the, wipe my hands off a little bit. Get a picture of him. Good day so far. Good day. Nice trout. Uh, three pound smallie. We can't complain about that. Take him, put him in the basket, and keep him alive until we're ready to go. And we'll put him on ice. There we go. Whew. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, get my net ready. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Wow, beautiful, beautiful fish. That's two trout. Oh, 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 oh. Well, we're taking him home, so we can kind of abuse him. Don't like to abuse any fish, but there's a our second keeper trout of the day. Um, not quite as big as the other one, but he'll work nicely. Give you guys a nice little view of him. Heck yeah! Sweet. No! Ah! Uh, no! <sighs> no! Oh well, that's fishing. Okay, so I found my pepper. A little black pepper, ground black pepper. And we're just going to coat the fish with the black pepper because I like black pepper on my food. And then, make sure it's nice and coated. Get a nice little bit of, of uh, um, pepper on there and then we're gonna just go ahead and add the the uh, cornmeal directly to the the bass here and hopefully to coat it the way we want it to if not we'll have to start back from scratch I guess 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's coating it up a little bit. I don't think it's as good as I'd want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use it the way it is. I'm not gonna do too much special to it. Um, and then of course you can use cayenne or paprika or anything you want on with the cornmeal. Uh, me, I just I'm not doing it the traditional way the way I normally cook the bass because normally I would do a flour and salt and pepper and stuff like that but see it's nice and coated now and we're just waiting on the pan to heat up and the trout pan is pretty pretty well heated up and ready to go and so we'll go ahead and move you over here and this time we're just going to do a basic salt and pepper on the trout and throw it in there um and we're only going to season this the the uh flesh side because the wife don't really care too much for uh, the skin so we'll go ahead and put it in skin first inside first and see how it's butterflied up and should be ready to go wait hey wait a little too much water on the fish yet let that do its thing for a minute and we'll hold this over the sink a little bit let that finish doing its thing now we want to get this over here in here before it starts doing that again. Okay, okay. Woo oh, it's uh really tooting and mad now. But that's okay. So now that we got that in the thing, we'll go ahead and put some salt on there. Last time I just floured it and salt and peppered it. Um this time I'm just gonna salt it and pepper it. And maybe put a little bit of garlic on there because she likes garlic. And we want that skin to get nice and crispy. Maybe she'll try it. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and go with some, uh, some garlic for the wife. We're just going to do the powdered or the ground up dehydrated stuff this time instead of fresh garlic. And then we're just going to let that cook now. And so now we're going to come back over here to the bass side of things. And we're going to put the bass inside the frying oil. Hopefully y'all can whoop, see that without it flopping over. Whoop. Here, let's do that. Okay, so now we're going to take our corn milled up and peppered up bass that looks so good and put it in there and my oil wasn't quite hot enough so we'll turn it up a little bit and then we'll still go ahead and just throw in the the bass so now the bass and the trout's cooking and so now we got to get some bread for the bass because we're going to make us a halfway decent sandwich here. <laughs> we're going to use some, some good old fashioned country bread and then we're going to, uh, we're going to put some, uh, uh, mayonnaise and some lettuce and tomato, everything on there. Maybe two pieces of bread there last cooking and we're just going to throw this on the counter here we're going to get some mayonnaise if we got any yeah we do it's in the door uh, okay that'll work for the some pine drill mayonnaise and we're just going to put that on there A little more. Okay. And now Charles is cooking up nicely, so is the bass. Um, get us out of tomato. Slice it up, get us out of this 
what they call salad because we didn't have we don't have no real regular lettuce so we're just going to use the salad lettuce so we'll take you off that and show you what we're doing here got a little mayonnaise you got a knife and a beta yeah show them how to I'm going to show them the tomato. Put that there. Get a little bit of this green stuff here. Put it on. Here. And then we're going to cut up this tomato. And of course, this knife dull too. So, I'm just having a heck of a time. I think I'll slice them like this instead. Long ways. Like this. Use the tip and cuts a little bit easier. And then just throw the tomatoes right there on top of the bread. Like that. Okay. So there's the tomatoes, lettuce. Now we'll flip our fish. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Let me it. Okay. Now we're going to flip it. Oh, it's nice and golden. Getting done. There's that. So now we'll come over here to the to the trout. It's ready to be flipped too, and we'll get a spatula for that one because it's a bit bigger. And then we'll just uh, flip that. And there's the, the flip over, skin cooked, one side cooked. Now we gotta cook the other side. And we'll just give that some time. And uh, we'll see you when it's time to eat. See you out. All right, all right. Welcome back. Look at that trout or that bass sandwich. That's what I'm having. And it look beautiful the way it's cooked up. And then the wife's butterfly. Trout, she wanted rice. I didn't want nothing but, but my fish sandwich. Isn't this beautiful? So we're going to let the wife have the first taste, and then I will. But let me say grace first. Dear Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for the opportunity in this time to break the bread of life and to celebrate the catch that you allow us to catch every day. Um, let this food be good nourishment to our bodies, Lord. And, um, your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Miss Wife, let's get your face in there. Am I in it? Yep, you're in there. I can't see myself. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Ooh, look at it, it's flaming. First time I've ever butterflied a trout. Mm -mm -mm. Can you taste the garlic? No. No? I didn't put enough garlic in there, I guess. All right, well, we're going to take a take, taste test of, of the Excellent job. sandwich. It's beautiful. And, uh... I'll give you my honest opinion. I already know it's going to be good because, you well, know, what's not to like about a bass sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. So make sure we get a bite of everything. So I think I'll start on this corner because I know I'll get a piece of. Mm. That cornmeal with the pepper, that's the business. Oh. And it's pretty. Mm. Well, we hope you guys have liked this uh, episode of G-Man Fishing. Um, this is two videos that made it on one day. The first one's a bass one, which will be out before this one. And then this catch and cook, we'll have a bass and a trout. Instead of putting it in one, it would have been too long of a video. Of course, this video is already going to be long because I took quite a while showing you all how to play up a fish but make sure to click subscribe like and comment it really does help out when you guys do that uh, i'm still just a small channel and i appreciate everything y'all do for me g man out oh next week next saturday we're having the challenge it'll be the rage the saucy swimmer and the kai tech remember be prepared for that video hopefully it's going to be a spectacular one thank you g man out